We also have our eye on education tonight as frustration grows for Western New York teachers working on expired contracts. This is the picket line that Sweet Home teachers put on last night, telling us their negotiations with the district have stalled. But Sweet Home, not alone in this fight, we have learned contracts in Depew and Hamburg have also expired as the state union works out new deals. One Depew teacher we spoke with last night told us he's fighting for a salary that keeps up with inflation. I was looking at CPI calculators today and you know the wage from 2010, the top step of a teacher at about $90,000 has an equivalent of about $135,000 today. So we did not keep up with the rate of inflation and our members are suffering. So with this in mind, we decided to dig more into the salary statistics for New York teachers. Our educators are actually some of the highest paid teachers in the nation for someone just starting out they can expect to earn roughly $45,000 a year, and there's certainly room to grow. The average teacher pay in New York is more than $80,000, but national studies do confirm the pay has simply not kept up with inflation. When adjusted for inflation, average salaries are actually down more than 6%, that just over the last decade. Now, local teachers tell us they want their fair share. So tonight, 7 News senior reporter Eileen Buckley taking a closer look at what all this means. Teachers from two school districts staged separate rallies Tuesday night, letting you know they're working without a contract. We're devalued and underappreciated. Sweet Home Central School District teachers have been without a contract since July 1st. When we know kids in the classroom need their teachers first and foremost, and we're here to help them, and it feels like our district and board of education is not necessarily here to help us. Our teachers at Sweet Home High School really care for our students. Um, we're the frontline workers to the community, no matter what our students' needs are. Sweet Home High School social studies teacher Mary Beth Bruce joined me in a Zoom call Wednesday. What is it like for you right now to be in a classroom working without a contract? Um, our teachers are having um, an unprecedented year, I would say. I've, I've been employed at Sweet Home for 22 years. Um, never before in my career have I felt so devalued underappreciated, disconnected, and abandoned. The district walked away from negotiations in May and filed for impasse. The Sweet Home School Superintendent issued a statement saying in part, the district has contacted the Public Employees Relation Board to secure a mediator to help expedite the talks. <laughs> Salaries and benefits are a top priority for both our unit as well as the school district. Depew teachers have been working without a contract since June 30th and say they are also fighting for a fair contract seeking better pay and benefits. The wage from 2010, the top step of a teacher at about $90,000 has an equivalent of about $135,000 today. So we did not keep up with the rate of inflation and our members are suffering. But the teachers union is expected to return to the bargaining table in mid-October. The Depew superintendent sent me a statement saying in part it has been bargaining in good faith but will not comment on the details of the ongoing negotiations. Eileen Buckley, 7 News.